How to find assignment deals. Hello, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, and today we're going to talk about how to find Toronto Condos assignment deals. Okay, before we get into how to find them, let me tell you quickly what is an assignment. So, uh, somebody buys a property from a developer, pre-construction, uh, could be a condo, townhouse, house. Uh, here's uh, some townhouses right here. Okay, that's the Car Street, uh, just north of Queen. And uh, they buy from the developer. It may be just uh, a blank lot, like right here. Could be an infill, doesn't matter. And they sign, they, they sign. you know, you buy the new uh, construction from the developer, you buy the pre-construction, condo house, townhouse. And um, at some point, maybe right after you sign the uh, agreement or just before closing, you decide you don't wanna, you don't wanna have it anymore. Uh, what's the reason? Well, it could be all kinds of reasons. Could be that you just want to make the money, you know, you bought it to flip. Could be that uh, you have a family now and the one bedroom now you need two. Could be somebody died, could be you moved, got a new job, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you want to you wanna flip that property, you want to assign that condo. And on the other side, there's someone who's looking to buy that condo from you. Why would they like to buy an assignment and not from the developer? Well, maybe it's sold out. Maybe you have the penthouse unit or the special, the best unit. Uh, somebody bought first and now you can't get it so somebody says oh you know I'll, I'll buy that one uh, the other reason of course is price assignments are usually slightly uh, lower on price than what you would have uh, purchased it after it closes okay so after the property closes the condo the, ta the townhouse or the house after they close they usually tend to go up the price and the reason they go up the price is because now we have a physical product that you can walk in you can see it you know you got keys it's ready to go, you can live there, you can make it into a money maker if you're renting it out or live it yourself. So it's got more of a perceived value. All value is perceived, by the way, okay? Um, all value is perceived. So that's why the two parties, one wants to assign, to sell the assignment, and one wants to buy it, okay? The assignor, the assignee. Okay, so how to find the best assignments, that's what we're here for today. A beautiful Alexandra Park, by the way, um, on a rainy day of August. So. What do you do to find an assignment? Well, assignments cannot, cannot, not, not be posted on MLS. And the reason they cannot be posted on MLS is technical, is because the, per, the person who's selling the assignment doesn't actually own the condo. It's like, what? <laughs> you do not own the condo when you have an assignment. The reason is, is because when you buy from developer, let's say this project here was a, a brand new, just, just a parking lot like it used to be, you know, 12 years ago, and now it's built, it hasn't registered in a deed yet. So the, the name, let's say uh, building A, unit two, registered to Yossi Kaplan, it hasn't happened yet because we haven't closed on it yet. And closing in the process of transferring all the funds to the developer, your, your uh, purchase price less the deposit, paying all the fees and the taxes and all that stuff, and the lawyer uh, will transfer the funds for you on one end and get the title on the other. So you don't actually own it. So if you, if you do not own it, you cannot advertise it for sale, okay? The other reason, oh, look at that. I just found some money here. Five cents. Always pick it up. That's a good sign of fortune. Thank you, universe. So the reason is you don't own it, um, but the developer, um, in order to get more investors into the mix of the, of the, of the buyers of the property, We'll, uh, we'll say, yeah, we allow assignments. And they say, you know, we allow assignments and it's going to cost you $1,000, $5,000, whatever it is. Uh, and, and that's the assignment fee the developer charges. Um, you know, they want a, a bit of the action too. You're making profit, developers taking a bit of the profit, and also cover some of the legal costs they have to assign the unit they have to activate their own lawyer to get involved there and so on. Okay, so how do you find these assignments? Well, it's simple, but it's not. It's simple and complex at the same time. Um, <clears throat> projects that are just before completion will usually have assignments available. So if you give me a call, say, Yossi, I saw a building, 488 University, right there, Dundas University, right behind us there. Uh, do you have any assignments for me? I say, sure, let me look for you. Maybe I have them already. Maybe I can look for you and find you some. Um, maybe you see, so that, that's one option, you saw the building. The other option you see on MLS, that's really rare, but once in a while you see them usually the, uh, some agent will upload them and immediately after they get a letter from developer sees and desist, take this off immediately. And they can also pull your right to assign if you do that because that's against the agreement that you actually signed, that the, the purchaser, the original purchaser uh, signed. So watch out for those. They do exist and then they kind of disappear sometimes. Uh, there are special groups for 
uh, agents only, there are mailing lists, but basically it's not advertised uh, publicly because you can't. When you buy a condo, a pre-construction condo from developer, I'm just, this is closed obviously, it's, it's been pre-construction a long time ago, but just an example, because it's right here. Um, it'll say in your agreement, you know, you, um, maybe they give you like, like the right to assign and it stipulates the conditions. Uh, sometimes you'll see the building has to be 80 or 90% sold or it's got to be a certain date or whatever it is. Read it carefully. Ask me, I can read it with you, go over it with you. Um, so, you know, uh, I get a lot of calls. Yossi, can I assign this unit? I bought it. Uh, or can I buy an assignment in this building? So, you know, to find that assignment, uh, it's also got to be allowed to be assigned. If it's not allowed to be assigned, we can still ask the developer for special permission. Some of them will say yes, some of them will say no. You know, that's a whole other story. Um, so you're going to find these assignments mostly through people, agents like myself, Yossi Kaplan, who specialize in assignments. So a lot of people come to me throughout the years. I'm one of the first people in Toronto that I know of that trading assignments for a long time now. And um, you can make a lot of money in assignments, both buying and selling them. Uh, when you sell them, you make the margin uh, from the time that you bought, say, three, four years ago to today's price. Where you're buying them, you're still making a bit of discount. You, you're gaining that discount on the price that the, pr the price of the assignment is slightly cheaper than what it would be once it's closed, once it's registered, once the deed, the title has been registered. Okay, I hope that's clear. Um, <clears throat> There are lots of other videos or assignments you can jog back and take, take a look. Um, so you find them uh, by number one, look at buildings that are almost uh, uh, finished. They're probably going to have some assignments in them. Um, you can call say, you know, I saw Ford 88 University, University of Nandas about the CABC. Do you have anything there? How much they cost? All that stuff. I'll give you the information. Um, I saw King West, some building coming up. Do you have any assignments there? You know, I called the developer. They said all the two bedrooms, corner units are uh, done, they're taken, they're, they're sold, but maybe somebody uh, bought it and now they want to flip it, they want to reassign it. Uh, for the reasons we mentioned before, ooh, <laughs> hope you're not going to get rained on here. Okay, so that's, that's, that's uh, another way to find them. Uh, you can go on my website, urbanrealtytoronto.com, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com, yossikaplan.com. And also, when you go to yossi.searchrealty.co, there's an assignment search. You can also find, I put the link below, <clears throat> I made a shortcut link on all my websites. If you scroll down in the footer, it'll say assignments. When you click on that, it'll send you to the database of all the publicly listed assignments that we know of. We put them all together, then you can see them all. Now, that's going to be only a fraction of the assignments that are available. There are many, many more available. And that's the point of the video today is they're not... Um, not all are publicly listed, not all are in the same place, so you got to do a bit of digging, okay? I do those, I do digging all day, every day. I get, you know, 100 email, text, phone calls every single day. I want to buy, I want to sell. I take a note and I try to match who wants to buy and who wants to sell. Sometimes it's easy match, sometimes we have to wait a little bit, but that's the process. That's how we do it. <clears throat> so, uh, number one, you see a building that is uh, about to go to completion and you can, you can ask me if there's any assignments there, what they are. Number two, you can look at my website, yossi.searchrealty.co, put Toronto and then put keyword assignment. Number three, go to any of my websites, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com, urbanrealtytoronto.com, yossikaplan.com, either search for assignments in the search bar or scroll down to the footer hit the assignment link, that will take you to an assignment search, specific one. So they're not all together, they're all over the place, um, but it's worth your time because, you know, you can save 20, 30, 50, $100,000 on a single property buying an assignment. You can also make 50, 30, 80, 100, 200, $300,000 on assignment also. And it's actually possible for both the seller of the assignment to make money and the buyer of that same assignment to still make money. Why? Because these two, buyer and seller of the assignment, they meet in the middle. The price that the assignment will sell is usually just below what it would sell if it was already completed, you know, just your typical resale MLS sale, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, you can see how the Toronto real estate market is getting into an equilibrium here, okay? 
So when I started, the new construction was always the cheapest. Why? Because it had an assumed risk. What if the developer is not going to close? I don't know what kind of finish is going to be there. What if it's not good? Da, 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 da. And then came the crazy wash of immigrants and all the money coming in. Uh, um, what happened is at the beginning, when we started with the assignments, people didn't know about them. So it, it was considered like it was deemed a high risk and the cost of new construction was always less than the, the already built. But now it's reversed. The new construction represents the future, better technology, better buildings, and materials, finishes, design. So those actually cost more now. It's reversed, it flipped than what it used to be. And the resale actually come at a discount. You know, they're a bit older. Maybe the condo fees are higher, on and on and on. It's gonna rain big now. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going until I'm wet and then I'm gonna run, okay? So finding the assignments um, has a lot of, uh, a lot of um, positives because you can actually save money on these new construction projects. Um, if you had to go and buy them today, you probably pay more and if you have to buy them resale, a new resale, you also have to pay more because taking into consideration now the owner has kept it for so long, they have to pay closing costs, land transfer tax, maybe twice land transfer tax if they're an investor, not the first time they're buying, okay? So that's, that's what you're looking at. So to find those assignments is very, very important because you can save a lot of money when you buy them. You can also make some money when you sell them, of course, okay? So, when you look at my websites, Twitter, um, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever, even Facebook, um, you will see that I keep posting assignments. Almost every day I post some assignments just for you to understand what's available and there's some very good deals. So I'm gonna view, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now a couple of the good deals I have at the moment and then you can go to the website and check them out, okay? Our 488 University, we have a 39th floor one bedroom going at 649.5. That unit, in my opinion, furnished will rent for four or five, six thousand dollars a month. Why? Because you're looking at University Avenue, all the hospitals, all the government agencies, a lot of executives in the towers nearby, and they need a place to live. And I'm just gonna keep going. And uh, that's, that's what they're looking for. So 488 University, uh, that's my one unit, but I have others if, you, if you're looking. And you're looking, you're looking at $1,200, $1,300 a square foot in that building, okay? Um, 159 SW by Altera, fantastic developer. That's uh, east of Young, just south of Bloor. You're looking at about $1,000 a foot there for an assignment with parking and locker. Uh, one unit we have there, it's a perfect one plus den, 631 square feet, and we price it at 631,000 with the parking and the locker, and I believe that the owner paid for the parking and the locker about $70,000. So the actual net price of the unit, less the parking and locker, is way less than $1,000 a foot, if, if you know what I mean, because you take the 631 less the price of parking and locker, say it's a 70 or 80, it brings you to about $560,000 for the unit, 631 square feet, perfect, one plus den, and then add the parking. So the, the net PSF is less than the uh, gross PSF, including the parking locker, okay? That's, that's a simple one. Um, other really good assignments we see these days are King Blue. Uh, there are two towers at 355 King West, King and uh, John there or Blue Jays, uh, South of King, okay? And you can find units there in around $1,000 a foot. Uh, 355 uh, King West, King Blue, two towers, you can find units there for about $1,000 a foot, which is amazing, because I think those will go for 12 and 14, and in a few years, $2,000 a foot, uh, because that's a phenomenal new development, high towers, fantastic location. You're just at the edge of King West, you're just at the edge of Entertainment District, you're just at the edge of, uh, of uh, Financial District. Very, very good. Um, other units, uh, you can find new units that may not be assignment already, but if you're looking at the 88 and One Harbor, uh, 100 Harbor, uh, tall, tall towers, if you like, like high, high units, uh, you can find some units there, the 1200 maybe, most of them are $1,400 a foot, okay? 
So that's what I got for you today. I'm going to run because it's going to rain like crazy now. I got nothing. <laughs> I was going to run to the nearest shelter wherever I can find it. That tree has been very good to me, but it's running too hard right now. So got to go. So find the assignment on yossicapital.com, urbanrealtytoronto.com, uh, yorkrealluxuryrealestate.com, yossi.searchrealty.co, or just email me, call me, text me. I'll set you up. Thank you very much. Yossi out. That's it.